Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Okay, so I don't know anything about this game other than I'm uh, apparently trying to finish my quest to find my wife and these controls are really squirrely. What the fuck? Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even Is that my face? Remember? Ugh. Serena enjoyed spice in our life. I preferred it more bland. We were so different on some points. Let's teleport over to the bookcase. Uh, so chair. many afternoons spent in this armchair. Wisdom and happiness I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be my life would have been waiting for my wife or if I have to find her is she hiding behind the chair the smell of old books I go back intoxicating what happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell that's cool uh, let's finger the wall yeah I had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. What the fuck is wrong with my hand? Stop it! Oh, this game is weird. That's, uh... This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? Oh, that's not creepy. Every house should have one. Okay, let's stop looking at that. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. Apparently I got jazz hands or something here. Come, love. With peace in your heart, said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. Indeed. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Oh God, is her body. Or something else? All right, we can. We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but. I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. Oh, that's a creepy sound. You, who the hell lives in this cabin anyways? What the hell? Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. Oh, I can open things. Look at this. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. Yeah, me either, buddy. Keep on keeping. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I want to go here. Go here. Go there. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. You can't even see out these windows, dude. Clean your house. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes, there is. Hers. I used it, too, when shaving. Used her hair? Interesting. Money! 
Come on. Give me the money. You suck. Dearest, how oh. do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Oh, thank Everything you. seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. Hold on, I think I need a tissue. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and <laughs> rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. I love you too. It's been so long since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her. When she told me the soothing sound of her name. Serena. Yeah, that is soothing. Some clothes in here. Let's see. Commune Evidence. Serena's favorite perfume. Okay. Can I turn this thing the off? The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. I'm sure it does. The first night was a nightmare, though. Stop it. Okay. Is there a key somewhere? Got to open the chest. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. Oh, I see what you did there, you devil. What's that? Go there. Can we open the chest? It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. Come on, you pussy, open it. We found it. this trunk at a flea market. You suck. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Oh, hey, there's a... There's a picture here. What the hell is this? No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. Okay, well, then open the damn chest. You're getting on my nerves, dude. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. Alright. Okay. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. Okay, is there something significant about the bookshelf? What about this one? 
Right up here. A lot of rarities and special editions here. No. Nothing here. Truth be told, not all the cooking she did was a resounding success. Uh, we agreed to never attempt doing ravioli again. Oh my god, I don't have legs. Hey, it's her face! This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. She got a funny face. Makes him look good. Oh, what the fuck? I don't want to get eaten. This is creepy. Can we open the chest now? Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? Dude, you are so depressing. Years passed, no tears fell, no death knell reached the golden shores they trod. Another love story without a happy ending. Dude is tripping. How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. Come on. And I miss her so much. As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. Oh, look at this. She always reminded me to take these. I never asked her to. She just did it. What do we have in here? I should leave Jeez. these here until she comes back. God damn it! I know she will. <laughs> nice picture. Waiting for asylum. Okay. How could I possibly forget the cup? I never noticed it before, but there's a tiny crack in it. Well, it's a hairline fracture. It's a hairline fracture. I know it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. All of her clothes look the same. These don't even look like her clothes. This is a woman's clothes. What is this? Can I leave now? Can I can I go home? Why? I might just as well stay here. You bastard. Hi. True friends stand by each other through any adversity. Okay. I kept saying I'd paint these chairs, add some color to this place. One more thing I never got around to. Let's look at this creepy picture again. When did we let this window get so gunked up? All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, or simply looking in each other's eyes. Without any activity, the corner feels cold. I'd give anything to see her standing here again, making coffee you or sandwiches. You talk too much. I made my own too, of course, but Where do I it just go? made me happy to see. Look at the picture again. Can I grab her face? Am I going mad? This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. Oh, how we talked. So, I mean, it's one o'clock. 
What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? Dude, I don't know. We seem to take fewer and fewer... Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? Yeah, I do. Go over here. That way. Go that way. Give me the dream catcher. I catch my dreams. <laughs> Open. I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. Like this. What once gave me so much like joy. Open. Now fills me with unbearable sorrow. Why does it fill you with sorrow? Over here. And over here. And I get it. So the boob grab hand makes you do things. Like that. You sit in the chair. The pointer makes you go. The magnifying glasses to inspect. Someone said, work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? We did have a horrible fight. I just can't recall the reason. There didn't seem to be much reason to keep it clean. Just overgrown bushes outside, brambles and thistles. You guys got the creepiest pictures. I should really stay. The dirtiest house. I'm so tired anyway. Tired? Let's go to sleep. Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. But I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. I'm probably a ghost. I'm probably dead. That ticking, it never stops. No, it doesn't. Make it stop. I've wasted so much time in my life. Did I ever take a break to show her how much I truly cared? I still remember when this thing smelled of fresh paint. She was my girl with the sun in her hair. What's happened to me? I want to look in the mirror. Some spiders in the ceiling. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. I feel too red. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. Beat it. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. I don't know what to do. I am genuinely lost. Let's go sit in the chair for a while. Come sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. What is it? I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. Okay. I almost have it. What was she trying to tell me? The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. I sure hope she comes back soon. We can sit down and discuss our problems, uh, like we always did. We could always work things out. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. When she was happy, she'd hum her favorite songs as she puttered around. I can't remember the last time. Look at the picture. Somehow she looks sadder than the world. hell? Could I really have been so wrong about that night? Ugh. I gotta stop looking at this thing. It's creeping me out. <laughs> it's getting darker in here, too. There's the chest. 
the jewelry box. What is it doing here? It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. All the real color faded from it long ago. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Calm down, dude. Okay. Guess I could have thanked that heartless slut at least once whenever she covered up her body. Damn, dude. No, this isn't like me. I must calm down. If anyone is to be blamed, that's me. Life always end up so sordid and hateful. All right, go look in her armoire. I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them. Dude, everything she wore, just to lure me in. Not even these violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the armoire. What is wrong with me? Be so inconsiderate. Did this stupid lamp destroy my marriage? I love lamp. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Look at the clock again. That incessant noise. I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now. Part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. This armchair. This is where we had that talk. That damn... I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Yes. Will you just listen to me for once? I'm listening. God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from I'm me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right here. Damn it! I'm I couldn't care less the game. about this damn thing. I'm almost scared to go look at the picture again. Let's do it. Sit down. We need to talk. Oh. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a. We weren't supposed to fight here. All right, let's talk. She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this. But for some reason, I just feel numb. Beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? I feel like throwing this chair through the window. But that would just make me even angrier. It must be full of dust mites. I should burn it. You got issues, man. I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's it's just not dark enough anyway. Sunlight. Birdsong. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of anything. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else. Just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. It's like a tentacle coming in the window. It's kind of weird. Unless she was the one who left. Why torture myself trying to remember? I don't know. Good idea. Let's go over here. I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. She once told me how I supposedly used words to fool her somehow, but what did she think this stuff was? Natural? Dearest. 
How do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't- And then you top- Yep. Already read it. Take the money now? No. Oh. How about... Yeah, let's... I told her the rug was fine work. Like I know anything about handicraft. I'm too upset to even think straight. I... I, I, I will fix it. In case she comes back. I haven't got any bulbs on me, and I didn't bring any tools. It... Wait, what am I thinking? Why am I worrying about a stupid lamp? Walk that way. I hate her so much. Well, that went south quick. The picture's kind of cool, but it's creepy. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Her favorite chair, huh? I should just smash this thing to pieces! What is that? Is that a blood stain? It's wobbly and off balance, just like she was. Especially... that night. You just don't get it, do you? You never do! I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. I want to hurl the whole damn lot into the lake. Or just tear at the pages until the wind sweeps them away. Some of these started a mildew long ago. Nothing gold can stay. For all those words, those damn words, my whole life's been consumed by them. Now I have none left to say. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot! Cheerio, mate! What did I just take? All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Fine. I'm leaving. Do I deserve to be forgiven? What about all the things she did, and all the things she said? Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon, because I've had enough. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. I should just destroy this useless junk. But not even the venom inside me gives me strength. Can I open the armoire now? All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Stupid, feeble-minded woman with her silly, menial things. It's... Just a book. What good will reading a fairy tale do me? It was she who didn't deserve me. I wouldn't waste my intellect on this... this sublunary distraction. She probably cared more for this plant than she cared for me. Probably. I couldn't care kind of a less douche. about this damn thing. God has never been there for me when I needed comfort. Why would he want to go out of his mysterious ways to help me now? I torture myself trying to remember. The bed. Um, let's talk to the clock. Hello, clock. It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. Chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than I care to remember. No wonder I'm going crazy. You mad, bro? It feels darker by the minute, but the sun is still high in the sky. Or is it? I feel so turned around. I... It can't be happening. No. I can still see, even if the light is going. I'm not turning it on. 
I'm too upset to even think straight. Stop arguing with me. Turn the light on. Go under the bed. I hate her so much. Yes, I've got that. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going. But it was a sore point for me. My thoughts are all over the place. Get it together, damn it. Doting on her hair like a child. But I'm... I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? Ugh, I'm too angry to even care. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. They're all lies. All she cared about was herself all along. Her needs, her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. How was I supposed to react when she used this, anyway? She knew I loved her. It's not like we have to say it over and over again. The smell of this disgusts me. So many lies. So much deceit. She probably left it here just to spite me. Why torture myself trying to remember? Because I don't know what to do. So you're making me angry, dude. Where do we Too go? upset to even think straight. It's like looking into my own soul right now. Did I see shadows move? No. Just my imagination. It's like the whole world is against me. Even my mind is playing tricks on me. I hate her so much. You need to stop thinking about her. Get out of this house, dude. All of this... these... pathetics. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Well, tell me what you care about so I can go fix it, okay? She actually threw this at me once. Wow. She could have killed me. That's how the bedroom window got that crack. Damn. Here's your stupid omelet. Ooh. My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. William Blake. Well, that's depressing. Heavy damned thing. Cast iron. Never those dry, blackened omelets again. Good riddance. Why torture myself trying to remember? Okay, so we talked about the omelets. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Well, let's go look at the picture again and see. Oh, jewelry box. Hello. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. All of this... these... I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? Mm. She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? Right. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Oh, uh, I'm scared! Oh, okay, she's still angry. Why torture myself trying to remember? Okay, so we open the jewelry box. We found all the goodies. I'm too upset to even think straight. Can we go to sleep now? I hate her so much. Nope. All of this... these... Why must I always be the one to fill the damn pitcher? I don't know. When did the place get so out of hand? I hate dust, and so did she, but here's a whole freaking cake of it! If I kicked the nightstand, the dust would 
billow up and swallow me like a desert storm. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself? I'm too upset to even think straight. Okay, let's take the keys and get out of here then. I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn Open thing. the damn thing then. It's finally sinking in. She's not coming back. Nothing in this cabin will ever change again unless it's by my hand. We don't have any more light bulbs. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Just going through the house. Going through the house. Rummaging shit. Let's go look in the chest. Still nothing I in the care chest. Less about this damn thing. Go back. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. Then let's I go. I hate her so much. All of this... these... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Where do I go? Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. Well... I then tell me what to do. so much. I'm confused. All of this... these... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. What do I do? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think so. Yes, go ahead and empty the whole salt shaker on your meal. I hope you choke. Damn. She was always yammering about the salt, feigning concern about my blood pressure. Should have emptied this into her lying throat till she vomited. If she were here, I'd rub salt into her wounds, all right, just like she's rubbed salt into mine. I hate her so much. Truth is, I could have used this spice to get some of her abominations down my throat. She never had any sense for balancing a meal. It was either spicy hot or cringeworthy bland. I was used to much better fare before my family fell on hard times. Almost empty. So typical of you, Serena. Not one limit. All of this... these... I couldn't care less of... Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Well... All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from... I couldn't care less. The light is so dim here. Makes me want to chop down every tree outside. There's only a limited window of opportunity for everything. And I wasted mine. Why torture myself trying to remember? You're more depressing than Max Payne. Maybe I should have a look at the contact pages. Her... Serena thought she was so special. Always trying to make our sex life Boobtastic edgy, interview. Exciting. Now I can see she was just afraid of admitting how bland and boring she really was. I'm too upset to even think straight. That's right, I found your dirty mag. I hate her so much. Come on, just rip it open. All of this... these... Damn it. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Changeable man. Insolent wretch. Haha, <laughs> sounds like Serena, all right. Her father's realm. She 
She was a daughter of the Celtic sea god Mananan. Oh, what was it? Scholars say Niav's divine father, Mananan, was Mananan. of an elder race even more ancient than the Tuahaja Danan. Tuahadadadadan. Why torture myself trying to remember? I don't know, I can't even pronounce it. That scowl! Too upset to even think straight. I hate her. All of this, these. I couldn't care less about. Why torture my? I'm too upset to even. I hate her. All of this. I couldn't. Why torture? I'm too upset. I hate her so much. Click, click everything. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Where do I go? What do I do? Here we go talk to the, uh, the mirror again. Why torture my... I'm too upset to even think straight. Dearest, and then you talk... So much. Did you just like take the watch or something? All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. High blood pressure? What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine. I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. Damn. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? Speaking of, where is the toilet? I'm too upset to even think- I hate her so much. All of this- these- I couldn't care less about this damn thing. You say that. A lot. I torture myself trying to remember. Such a weird picture. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. What is this? Oh, it tells me... I sit here on the train, oh. taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? Yes. You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone, and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. 
Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense, and the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on, you pursuing your dreams that will never be, lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life, and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Us. Well, thank you, I S. couldn't care less about this day. Why torture myself trying to remember? So I've got little beacons now. I can actually... No, get out of here. Stop it. See these little beacons? I can actually see what clickable things are. Let's go over here. Oh shit. I can actually open it. You're very good at letting things you don't want to oh, acknowledge shit. slip off you. You continue as if nothing changed. My god. What is this? It can't. It isn't. How did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? How did you not smell this? I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, that escalated quickly. stumbling on this more than once, but she always insisted it be kept here. She did it on purpose. Please, let me wake up. Let it be a dream. In that sleep of death, what dreams may come. I can't bring myself to close my eyes. I know I'll see her. It... This rug... I could wrap the body in it. No, I can't. I, I can't even think about this. It's grotesque. Dead, worm-eaten wood. Oh, shit. Well, this is awkward. My face. What's happened to my face? Is that it's like looking into a mirror. I've just been slowly rotting inside all along. Until I took her life. I am a demon. A destroyer. Impure. The many times we sat here. So many. To think there would ever be a last time. The fuck? What is this? Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Oh, shit. Get me out of here. Oh, shit. You forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. No. Not like this. Please. No. 
Oh. Rock. Let me out of here. Did I win? What happened? All right, so, uh, I guess that's Arena? Thanks for watching. Now, enjoy some lovely music. <laughs>